Hello, I'm Sam from Cultaholic.com and Jack apparently wasn't very happy that Ross got to go to the zoo while he was in Amsterdam. Uh, we'd been arguing about it a lot and when I got in this morning, this was on his desk. Um, it says, gone to zoo. There's a picture of him with what I think is a lion or a shaved sheep. I don't know. But anyway, you're stuck with me for the news today. First up, pretty big news out of WWE because they may have spoiled the outcome of The Bar versus Braun Strowman and mystery partner at WrestleMania. As we know, The Bar are set to take on Braun Strowman and a mystery opponent at WrestleMania 34 in New Orleans on the 8th of April. This match is certainly one of the more exciting ones on the WrestleMania card because there's a lot of question around who Braun is actually going to recruit in order to have a tag team partner to compete. But an interesting post regarding the greatest Royal Rumble on WWE.com may have just spoiled everything. So if you don't want to know any spoilers, skip ahead. The press release states that the greatest Royal Rumble in Saudi Arabia will feature a tag team ladder match for the Raw Tag Team Championships and it will be the bar versus the Hardy Boys. Not only does this confirm that a Jeff return is imminent, but it also means the bar must be retaining at WrestleMania, surely. I mean, it has to mean that, right? Unless the Hardy Boys somehow get involved in the WrestleMania match and they pick up the win. But at the moment, it, it looks like the bar must be retaining. But yeah, as I said, also we've got Jeff Hardy definitely returning soon. Whether this means he's going to return as part of the Woken universe and he'll be Brother Nero, is it something that is just going to be for Matt Hardy's singles push? Is it going to be something that becomes the all-encompassing universe that we all know and love from back in Impact? It's, it's very hard to call at the moment. But either way, yeah, as I said, unless the Hardys can get injected into that WrestleMania tag team match, it, it looks like the bar must be retaining. Next up, Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter has confirmed that Shane McMahon's hospitalization earlier this week is genuine. Shane's apparently not only suffering from diverticulitis, which is a disease that affects the digestive tract, and it's of course the disease that made Brock Lesnar step away from his UFC career, but Shane's also suffering from an umbilical hernia. The hospitalization apparently has absolutely absolutely nothing to do with the storyline involving Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens and when they attacked him basically. WWE.com reported that Shane McMahon was apparently on holiday in the Caribbean with his family when he came down with a massive infection and he was immediately rushed to hospital. Now not just that but once the infection clears he has to go through surgery to sort out that hernia. This of course means that Shane McMahon will not be medically cleared to wrestle at WrestleMania 34 and it leaves a very big question mark over the rumoured matchup they were going to have which was going to be Shane McMahon and Daniel Bryan versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Of course, we could still have that match and you could still maybe have a handicap match or a two-on-one or Daniel Bryan gets a partner, but at the minute, I think they're going to have to go into plan B mode. Either way, we will have more on this story as it develops and I'm pretty sure there'll be something that happens tomorrow on SmackDown which will clear the air a bit. Who would you like to see Daniel Bryan partner with or would you rather it was a handicap match? Would you rather the match didn't go through at all? Let us know in the comments below. Next up, Dean Ambrose has been pulled from his scheduled signing appearances at WrestleMania Access next week. PW Insider have also reported that Ambrose was recently spotted in Birmingham, Alabama, where apparently he was seeking medical checkup on his recovery. Following his visit to Birmingham, Ambrose was then pulled from more scheduled signing dates for World of Wheels. It's of course entirely possible that WWE are having some concerns over Ambrose's recovery and are just wanting him to rest up completely without even minor activities like meet and greets and fan signings to keep him distracted. It's also important to note that he's only currently four months into his originally stated nine month recovery period so there may be a ways to go yet. Either way, we wish Ambrose all the best and we hope to see him return to the ring soon. And finally, it's never nice to report on something sad, but today I unfortunately have to. Last night at a defiant wrestling taping in Newcastle upon Tyne, our good friend the Primate announced to a stunned hometown crowd that he was unfortunately having to step away from an active in-ring career due to injury. This comes as pretty sad news to us all because Primate was always somebody that could be counted on to make the most out of any match situation in any promotion he worked in. He was always just such a dedicated in-ring worker. This news will also unfortunately have some implications for Newcastle's North Wrestling, which is another promotion where Primate was featured heavily. We reached out to Primate for comment and he said, 
It's heartbreaking, but never say never. At the present time, my jaw is so fragile that if knocked even slightly, it could shatter. It's not all sad news though, because while he did announce that he was stepping away from an active in-ring career, he also announced the formation of his new business, Battle Ready, which is gonna be a high-class performance center specifically built to train wrestlers in the north of England. Battle Ready opens its doors this summer and you can support it by picking up some merch from the Big Cartel store and following them on Twitter at BattleReadyNCL. And that's it for today's news. You can follow me on Twitter at less to find. If you like what we do here at Cultaholic, you can support us on Patreon. Anything you can give would be greatly appreciated and it'll be recycled back into the business in order to create higher quality content. And never ever forget to join us.